Morning guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's video I want to continue along the theme of vapour barriers. I know it's quite a controversial topic on the internet and everybody's got their own opinion about it and I've jumped into a few of the forums and that and a lot of people are saying that I've trapped moisture in my van when I put the vapour barrier over my insulation. Well I can say yes you're absolutely right I have trapped some moisture behind my vapour barrier so yeah you're correct but what we can do in this video is we can work out exactly how much moisture is in there. I'm going to calculate how much moisture I've trapped inside my vapour barrier and then that'll answer some of the critics out there hopefully. So stay tuned and we'll find out how much is in there. Now of course depending on what time of year that you insulate your van the conditions of the surrounding air will vary greatly from maybe 50% relative humidity to 100% relative humidity in the winter. So we've got to take this into consideration. But when we do the calculations at the end, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do it at various different times a year and various different weather conditions. And then we'll see what the difference is and when is the best time to insulate and vapor barrier your van. I'm going to be doing some calculations, but I'll try and keep them as simple as possible so that everybody can understand and follow along. So let's calculate this for one of the largest walls in the van, the side wall without the door in it. When you insulate it and put a vapour barrier over there, you seal in this void, which is the thickness of the wall. So we need to calculate the volume of air that's sealed inside that void. Now our van measures 4.2 metres long and 1.9 metres high. And the thickness of that void at the top of the van is 50 millimetres and it gets thicker as it goes down to the bottom which is 100 millimetres. So using those dimensions we can calculate the volume of that void. To calculate the volume of the wall we first need to calculate the area. 4.2 metres by 1.9 metres equals 7.98 metres squared. Now the average thickness of the wall starts at 50 mil to 100 mil so the average is 75 millimeters so to calculate the volume of that void we take the area 7.98 meters squared multiplied by the thickness in meters 0 0.075 and that gives us a volume of 0.5985 meters cubed and that is the maximum amount of air that would be trapped in the thickness of that wall to find out how much moisture is in the air at a given condition, we need to have a look at the psychometric chart. The psychometric chart shows the various properties of moist air. Along the bottom of the chart is the temperature in degrees centigrade. The red curved lines on the chart indicate the relative humidity. And at the side of the chart is the moisture content. Let's assume for this calculation that we're insulating our van on a fairly warm day. It's 20 degrees centigrade and the relative humidity is 50%. At these conditions, the moisture content of that air is 7.3 grams or 0 0.0073 kilograms per kilogram. That's the amount of moisture in the air at those conditions. So now that we know the volume of air and we also know at the conditions we know that moisture content, we can calculate how much moisture is trapped in our van. The chart gives us the moisture content in kilograms per kilogram of air. We know the volume in meters cubed, so in order to get the kilograms of air, we need to apply the density. And the density of air at 20 degrees C is 1.2 kilograms per meter cubed. So for every meter cubed of air, that air weighs 1.2 kilograms. So we take our original volume of 0.5985 meters cubed, multiply it by the density, 1.2, and that gives us 0.7182 kilograms of air trapped inside our van. We know from the chart that the moisture content is 0.0073 kilograms. Multiply that by the amount of air in the van, 0.7182, and that gives us a result of 0 0.005 kilograms of moisture in that volume of air. So if one litre of water weighs one kilogram, then 0 0.005 kilograms of moisture 
is five millilitres. So there we go. We've managed to work out exactly how much moisture was in that air when I did the vapour barrier on the van at those conditions. Only five millilitres of water in all that volume of air. Five millilitres is the standard size of a medicine spoon. So basically a large teaspoon. So the water I could fit on this tiny little teaspoon is all that's in the volume of air in my van when I did my vapour barrier. So really next to nothing. I, it's nothing worth worrying about anyway. And I know a lot of you are now saying, well, what happens if you did your insulation in the middle of winter when it's wet outside and it's 100% relative humidity, really saturated and the air is very damp? OK, so let's have a look at those conditions. So what I've done is I've done a spreadsheet here. I've taken the volume of my van and I've taken it at different conditions during the year, whether it be summer and very dry or whether it be winter and very humid. And then I've done the same calculation and worked out exactly how much moisture would be inside the van if I insulated it at those times of year. And I think you'll see the results are quite remarkable. So there we go. I think you can see by the results of that chart, those different conditions, whatever time of year you insulate your van, is literally only going to result in one or two grams difference. And it's not even going to be enough to fit on this tiny little teaspoon. So it really isn't anything to worry about, guys. So when you're on any of the forums on social media and anybody mentions that you've trapped moisture inside your van when you did your vapour barrier, then please send them a link to this video and then hopefully that will give them the information. I want to spend a little bit of time to give you guys the correct facts. There's a lot of misinformation going around on the internet and I want to make sure that you guys that are building your vans build it right the first time. So it just remains for me to say thanks very much for watching and I look forward to seeing you on the next video. Cheers!